common sayings of lost people number six. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Have you ever heard that one? Yep. Well, here's what you can show them from the scriptures, how to answer them. First Peter chapter four, verses one through four. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Hmm. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the, the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Huh. We'll get to the next verse here in just a minute. But when it says cease from sin, uh, there's a major change that happens when you get born again, when the Holy Spirit of God moves into your life. You're not going to enjoy the sins of your past. You're not going to want to continue in those sins. And your lost friends and relatives will see that. What happened to you? Are you in some kind of cult? Or I'm worried about you. You're starting to get kind of weird. I mean, you could be the most drugged up, alcoholic, you know, sex perversion, violent fighting all the time, in and out of jail type of thing. You get saved and born again. And all of a sudden they're worried about you. They weren't worried about you in your past when you were doing all those things that were self-destructive. Now you're cleaning up your life and you're getting sin out of your life and everything, and now they get worried about you. Here's why. 1 Peter 4.4 4. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Mm -hmm. And again, you say, well, how's, how is showing this to somebody that's lost, how is this going to help the situation, how they, you know, act towards me. Well, because you see that uh, you show them that God has their number. What you're doing to me is already recorded in Scripture. God said this is what they're going to do to you, and you're doing it to me. I'm not running with you to the same excess of riot. All right? And I'll tell you, there's a lot of saved people out there that, that are, you know, they married as lost people and then they get, one of them gets saved and, and you're married to somebody that's lost and things. That's, that's a big thing I hear a lot of. And the lost member will always try to bring you down to their level. They'll say, hey, we used to do this. I want you to do it again. I give up this stuff. You know, I, I'm worried about you. You're really kind of going off the deep end and whatever. They'll try to draw you down to that same excess of riot that they're in. What do you need to remember? Luke chapter 6, verses 22 through 23. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Again, show somebody it's lost. Say, hey, can I just show you something from the Scripture? I don't want to even see that book. Why? Are you so closed-minded? You're afraid of a book? You're really afraid of this old book right here? Let me show you what the Bible says about how you're treating me right now. Try that one on. This book is powerful. All right? Very powerful. And here's an even better one to show them. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. You see, the reality of it is, you, lost person, can say you're worried about me. But the fact of the matter is, I'm worried about you. Because you're going to be facing the terror of the Lord. If you die in your sins, you're going to have to pay for your sins, you, yourself. And the payment, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it's an eternal death. It's a terrible, terrible thing. So, uh, be encouraged when somebody attacks you like that. When they say, I'm worried about you. You're in a cult. You're in a sect. You're the whatever. And they start to cast out your name as evil. Um, be encouraged. Because your rewards will be, will be great in heaven for that. And I'd show them these scriptures. Show them. And say, the Bible already said you would do the things that you're doing to me. It's already recorded. God knows that much about you.